I'm just in the process of uh, doing the discs and pads on uh, this Mark II Golf um, and I've decided to um, change the sliders. Uh, I've not done this before um, so I'm just going to quickly document how it goes uh, simply because I couldn't really find a lot of information on this online. Uh, this is the JP Group ones. These came from Autodoc um, and I can't remember how much they were but they weren't expensive. One of the reasons for changing sliders, um, in my opinion, was that the uh, brake pads weren't making full contact. It's almost like the caliper wasn't moving properly and only the back of the pads were correctly contacting the disc. Um, so it was at that point, given that there was an overlap of material on the rusty sections that weren't being cleaned off when in use, that uh, made me decide to change the pads in the first place um, and the sliders along with it. So hopefully we'll see an even wear pattern on the uh, next set of discs. These are the replacement versus the old parts that came out of the caliper. Um, the old parts have these Teflon guides, which apparently the new one has been designed so that it doesn't need those Teflon guides. Um, it does also come with two new bolts, uh, the short one being the bottom, the long one being the top, and some dielectric grease, silicon-based grease. Um, so I'm going to reassemble them. These are a bit of a fight to get out. I mean, it's just a case of pulling and pushing from both ends. Just be careful if you break cable, you don't kink it while you're doing that. Um, so I'm going to clean up uh, the holes where they came out of, um, grease them up and insert the rubbers. You will need two of these sets, one for each side of the vehicle. The fitment of the uh, new rubber sleeves was very simple. I applied a little bit of dielectric grease to the inner and outside parts of the boot and the caliper. Um, if you fold the um, the boot kind of in on itself to narrow its diameter it's, it slides straight in and then pops into shape perfectly it makes it makes it so much easier than extracting the old ones i've now fitted the pins before i fitted the pins i applied all the dielectric grease supplied into each of those boots so that there's a small reservoir around the outside of the slider pins um, that again incredibly simple job i don't think anyone's going to struggle with this the replacement bolts went in perfectly, uh, long one at the top, short one at the bottom. Um, I really don't think you're going to have any issues with this job. So if you're considering doing it, I would uh, I'd bite the bullet, spend the money and just spend the extra half hour sorting out this problem.